so a bit about the introduction of the video uh, regarding the background of the video the video that was choose uh, is from Abu Hir channel is a 7 minute video obtained from the Akia TV which is uh, that uh, part, life, part of a live stream uh, Akia TV is a video preacher named Ustaz Hadi Hidayat from Indonesia uh, who started the channel his live video were, was also broadcasted from Surau Kita 129 Dawson Seng Combat North Victoria Melbourne Australia now I'm going to talk about the preacher in this video Hadi Hidayat SMA born September 11 1984 he founded Quantum Akhya Institute and Akhya TV uh, Arabic and Indonesian were his uh, language used to Ustaz Hidayat preach Adi uh, Hidayat studied the Quran, Hadith, Jurisprudence, Deed, and Lughah in Libya. He took a Lughah Arabiah wa Adabuha, which means uh, Arab and Menu curriculum to better grasp the Quran and Hadith. Hitalaki, which means uh, face to face uh, in Libya and other countries. Sheikh Dukali Muhammad Al Imal Mukri International, Al Ali Libi Imam Libya for Europe, Ali Ahmad Nigeria Wash History, and Ali Tanzania History of Duri taught him the Quran. Usama Sheikh taught Adi Hidayat Tajwid Libya. Uh, Dr. Shidik Abash Nash taught Hadith Science. So now we are going to talk about the Akidah. When we say about the Kufur in this subtopic that I have chosen in this video, there is uh, also something that uh, need to be shown which is Akidah because Kufur is the opposite of the Akidah. So Akidah refers to the absolute fact revealed to the Muhammad peace upon him. Akidah means what your heart accept without hesitation. Akidah comes from the Arabic roots Aqada, which means to grasp intimately, being staunch and uncompromising, is how an Akidah individual acts and think. Each Muslim should have heart filled uh, with deep belief and strong conviction in what they uh, practice and when it comes to the Islam most basic feature. Akidah is to believe in Allah and everything linked with him such as his worship, uh, lordship, his name and trick, angels, book, messenger, destiny and the ultimately as well as anything regarded authentic in the faith. We must recognize Allah as the sovereign and lawgiver and the messenger. Peace be upon him as a leader and a guide whose deeds and judgment we should copy. A Tawheed which refers to Allah uniqueness in worship, lordship, names and interests it is most essential component of the Akidah. Due to the meaning of Tawheed and connotation, we can use Akidah instead. Allah created the heaven and earth for al tawhid and he commanded all of his messenger and prophet to call humanity to it. As Muslim, we must, we must gain this knowledge become aware of our purpose and share it with the, our children, families and rest of humanity. We must make every effort to return to the original form, form of the faith and correct Akidah mistake that plagued many Muslims today. So now uh, I'm going to present about the Kufur, the meaning of Kufur. Kufur means opposed Iman or faith which is the Akidah. It can manifest as disliking Allah SWT, His sign and all His messenger. This opposes love and faith which support her heartfelt act. Kufur can be exterior action such as prostrating uh, to idols or making sacrifice to someone other than Allah. Or it can be be spoken words like insulting Allah SWT, action of the heart, words with the tongue and the external physical act all can be considered as sign of faith. Kufu is an Arabic word that means hiding according to Islam. Apostasy is not believing in Allah SWT and His Messenger, whether accompanied by the denial, doubt, or turning away from religion or of jealousy uh, or conceit, or because one is uh, pursuing, pursuing whims and wants uh, that prohibit one from obeying the message, leaving Allah SWT and His Messenger from its apostasy. So now I'm going to talk about the uh, first main point of this video which is kafar. The term kafar is a verb from the word kufur which uh, which means disbelief which has been explained before. 
the plural says kafaru uh, the word kafar can be found in the 14th chapter ibrahim verse 7 la shadidun aza bi aza bi in kafartum kafar whereas the plural word kafaru can be found in the surah al-baqarah verse 6 alaihim sawa'un kafaru kafaru he is saying that word kafar is meant by his action and not by people is not for non-muslim uh, but it's everything that can give uh, birth to the muslim disbelief when a muslim who brings great risk such as uh, the one who deliberately leave the prayer which is the great sins uh, then it is called a kafar even though it does not uh, come out of the akidah directly but it can it can be equated with non-muslim because non-muslim also not pray right? if a muslim does not repent of such a great sin like that he will be able to fall into the kafar uh, person so last for my part is kafir the term kafir is used for non-muslim who have no faith and belief in allah this term is dedicated to the people like that not like kafar which is used for uh, muslim since that cause we equated with the un unbeliever this kafir is a very polite polite word to use for them because uh it's non-muslim because it means uh something that is hindered there were times that the prophet uh, invited the people to enter islam and they say still rejected the teaching of islam this is the explanation that they were called kafir which means closing himself or preventing him from accepting the teaching of Islam but the term uh, that that used in this kafir uh, is not scolded because the language and term used are polite and correct because uh, accurate with their action at that time in another riwayat Abdul Razak reported uh, Wahab he said that Quraysh kafir said to the Prophet if you please follow us one year and we will return to your religion one year. Then Allah Almighty said, Kulia ayuhal kafirun at the finish of the sentence. Uh, so he explained that at the beginning of the first verse, the Prophet Muhammad was told to say the unbeliever in this context was the Quraysh Kafi in their ignorance. According to the opinion, among the ignorance is to invite the messenger of Allah to worship the gods who are nothing more than idols. So it is clear here that term kafe is used specifically for those who does not have aqidah and monotheism to Allah. Part of kufur, point number three is kufar, which is a person who covers himself and endangers the interests of the Islamic faith and even oppress his Muslim. The two terms are combined to form the plural term kufar. It can be seen in Surah al fat 48-29. Muhammad Rasulullah Wallazina ma'au ashida u ala alal kufar Which is mean Muhammad is the messenger of Allah And those with him are forceful against the disbelievers As stated by Ustaz Hadi Hidayat in the video If a person commit a kafar or act of sick sirik It may still be absolved if he repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Nonetheless, kufar is strongly advised to avoid due to its risk to a Muslim in Surah al fat 48-29. That's I already thought. The effect of kufur on Muslim community in Malaysia. Point number one, pers person hurt or did are derived by the, the desire to disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger. In Surah Al-Kahfi, verse 6 and 105, of which warn against the peril of unbelief, Allah issue the warning. The word of Allah means then, do not you, O Muhammad, destroy yourself due to grief over the consequence of their bad deeds if they refuse to believe in the evidence of this Quran. Al-Kahfi Number verse 6. Point number 2. Allah warned Rasulullah and all Muslim in this verse not to be subjected to oppress by those who reject what he delivers. To avoid dying in the middle of the road, 
this issue in the people struggle need to be han- handled with the best feeling. Surah Al-Kafi, one, verse 105 They are those who disbelieve in the revelation of their Lord and the meeting with Him. Therefore, their work fall away. As a result, we will not give any way to judge their deed on the day of the resurrection. In this verse, Allah informed people that if they reject His revelation and they are meeting with Him in the afterlife, their deed would be worthless on the day of judgment. This is a reminder for believers to keep up their witness and practice their belief without becoming discouraged by any opposition from unbeliever or disbeliever. In fact, much better that they than that is our own diligence in avoiding disbelief and disobedience in daily life. The third point is create confusion among Muslim. This idea of reform and rebelief movement could have acquired a new relevance in the in the immediately pre-modern and modern period of Islamic history. Although some thinkers favor one term over another, this group has have considered consider the current Muslim condition, including their religious belief and practice, as being so far from an authentic Islam as to con- constitute kuf, shir, or jahiliya, the pre-Islamic environment. The last point is different understanding in Islam that create many organizations or sect in Islam. The practice of popular religion, particularly the devotion of Sith connected with the Sufi orders, was a pre-modern reform called could most easily observe the community slip into Kuf or Sikh. Sufis predominate the religious practice of the majority of Muslims in pre-modern time, but many of its manifest manifestations were seen by reformers as innovation and form of idolatry that Islam urgently needed to be purified of. Sufis, Sufims was modified by some reformers organization while other wanted to completely eradicate it. The Wahhabi movement is the best known example of pre-modernists. They consider all other Muslims to be mushrikeen and saw themselves as the sole defender of Tawhid, the, uni- the unity of God. The impact of video analysis on society. They have two points. First point, build strong religious belief. Islam divided knowledge into two categories, Akwa and Revel, Al-Quran and Al-Sunnah. Since Akwa, knowledge requires human reasoning, it is a cause for concern. Islamic legal theory, Usul Al-Fiqh, and the Ijtihad process synchronize the way and quality of the reason used while acknowledging its role in the production of knowledge interpretation. However, as education is the process of putting information in oneself, knowledge and education are important. When society come to watch the video, they receive more knowledge about what Kuf is to prevent them from involved, involved to doing it. The second point is giving birth to gratitude for luxury or hardship. People frequently decided to give their lives some type of meaning and purpose by looking for what will work best for them when things get better or worse. When they understand the meaning of gratitude for all the pleasure that have been given by Allah in terms of health, wealth, family, and etc., then they can feel peace and happiness when they are happy or diffi- when they are happy or in the difficult time. Addition, the Holy Quran makes it very apparent that man through gold should be submission to his creator because he knows what best for them. For example, and I have created men and jinn except that they should worship me. Verse 51, chapter 57. Perhaps you dislike something which is good for you and like something which is bad for you. Our knows and you do not know. Verse 2, chapter 216. As has been explained by Ustad Hadi Hidayat, how from the word kuf 
to kafar, kafir and kufar. Second point is Muslim must take the initiative to deepen the knowledge that have been left by Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam in shaping the characteristic of a Muslim and keep themselves from things that are forbidden or forbidden from Allah subhanahu wa taala. The fact is, everything lies to yourself. We who live in the world are given the choice to be poor or rich, or to be a believer or disbeliever. Islam, Islam provide the path, the path, the path, and the Sharia be our guardian. We also actually choose ourselves to be His grateful or ungrateful servant. And that's all from us. Thank you.